Hey everyone, welcome to this week's live stream. Thanks everyone for being here. Paul, thanks so much for being here. Good morning. I'm really looking forward to class too. So I see your request here. You want to do bums, tums, legs, hips, feet, and toes. So you got it. So I'll make sure there's a little bit of everything for that. Um, and how is my favorite yogi? Thanks so much, Paul. Honestly, you are so supportive and so awesome. And I really appreciate you being here. I appreciate all the support and love that you give us. Um, I'm doing good today. Um, you know, it's actually really sunny, which is nice. It's uh, not overly sunny most days here in Toronto these days. So I like seeing the sun being out. It means I'm going to have a nice walk later. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's good. Plus, I get to be here with you guys. Adrian and Nico, morning. I'm so glad that you guys are on here. Thanks for stopping by, especially I know you guys have your live stream coming up too. Um, so for anybody on, make sure you guys uh, tag Adrian and Nico's channel. They're going to be doing a awesome beast workout at 1045 Eastern Standard Time. So take a look there. Um, they are awesome. They will get you motivated. They will get you moving. So um, if you guys like that little like plank um challenge workout thing that I posted uh, the other day. It was actually inspired by them from their workout last weekend. Um, they did the this little plank thing and I loved it. I thought it was great. So I, I did that. Paul, you love my outfit. Thanks so much. So I'm glad you like it. Always trying to keep nice and colorful. And uh, I can actually thank Dave for that one because he makes me be colorful. <laughs> if it was up to me, I'd be wearing all black. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sunny here, but too, but very cold. Oh, is it cold? You know what? I haven't checked the weather. The sun can be very deceiving though. So how cold is it there, Paul? So we'll just wait another minute or so, let everyone come on board. Um, and while we're waiting, <clears throat> so I am going to teach with props again today, just like we did last time. <clears throat> the reason why props are really good is because sometimes when you're learning yoga or if your body's a little bit stiffer, and honestly, even if you're an experienced yogi, I find that props can really help you experience the pose a little bit different. So it can help you, um, you know, get more length in your arms. It can help you just find or create a little bit more space in your body so that the pose, you just feel it more and you get more benefits out of it. So I really do encourage you to try and find some stuff. Even if you don't have like real yogi props, I encourage you to grab some stuff that you might have around the house to help you get there. So minus 16, gosh, that is cold, Paul. Where are you? <laughs> I hope that it's not that cold here. <laughs> I haven't checked though, so it might be. I think it's like minus 12. Minus 12, oh my gosh. Okay, yikes. Um, <laughs> morning, Jen. I'm glad that you love the colors and I love that you put hearts that match the colors. That's awesome. And Lindsay, gosh, it is cold. Minus 16. Oh my gosh. So maybe my walk's not going to be as fun today, but anyways. All right. So props. So if you are using yogi props, I would grab a blanket. I would grab a strap and I would grab some blocks. If you don't have them, then feel free to grab some alternatives. Here's some other variations uh, that you can use. So again, just grab any blanket. You want something thin that you can kind of like tuck into areas. You can use it under your knee. You can like tuck it uh, under your hip for certain poses, things like that. Um, toilet paper works well um, or anything else that's a bit sturdy. So if you've got like books, you can use books, you can use boxes, pots, a bunch of stuff. So anything, um, anything that will just create a little bit more lift for you. And I grabbed a belt this morning. So you can grab a belt, you can grab a towel, just anything that's a little bit that's like long and thin and will allow you to, to sort of have some resistance against it. If you've got resistance bands, like not the closed loop ones, but the open ones, like the one we have hanging off the door, you can use that one as well. All right. So, um, the playlist that I have today, <laughs> yeah, definitely need some leg warmers. And I did, I, yeah, I matched the colors with the lights. So I've been trying to do that because I think it looks cool. Um, so you guys let me know if you think it looks cool too. Um, and 
Ah, uh, what was I going to say? So for today, I'm thinking we're going to do a little bit more, kind of like we did last time. We're going to slow it down a little bit. It's We're still going to get challenged. But I do want you to, right now, from what I hear from everybody, is everybody's kind of, actually Jen said this best to me this week, everybody's in a bit of a thunderstorm. You never know when the thunder is going to hit. You never know when the lightning is going to hit. So some days, you know, you're loving the thunderstorm. You like watching it. It's fine. You feel good being cozy at home. And other days, you just want to get outside. You're tired of it. And so... You know, we're all uh, dealing with all these things our own way. So what I would like, uh, what I'd invite you for this class is to really dig deep internally, make this space for you, get grounded, get comfortable and get juicy in your poses. So if you want to spend extra time in a pose, then go for it, right? So make this practice all about you. I want you to focus on your breath and, um, what else? And also, again, as always, this is your body, which means the way that the pose is going to look for you might look different than what you're seeing me do, and that's totally fine. So I want you to think about what this feels like in your body, where you're feeling the sensations, and also where you might be able to breathe into some of that tension. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to do kind of a, like a full body class. So I know from Paul, he wanted to do some bum, some tum, some feet, uh, some uh, some feet. What else did he have on there? Um, some, yeah, tum, bum, feet, legs, I think. I think I got it. Anyway, so <laughs> cool. So we're going to do that and, um, and uh, let's get started. So I'm going to turn, we're going to turn on the music. Yeah. So we're going to turn it on now. Okay. So I want you to just find any comfortable seated position to get started. Option to even take child's pose if that feels good. Maybe even going into Shavasana to start. So just find something, whatever your body needs. This morning we're gonna do some breathing. Just kind of get settled here. Just do a mini, mini, mini meditation just to kind of slow everything down and get here. So if you're sitting, see if you can straighten the spine just a little bit more. Bringing those shoulders back and center. Feeling those sit bones. If you're sitting, maybe you're even gonna take the fleshy parts under your butt and move them out of the way so your sit bones are a little bit closer to the mat. And breathe. Just going at your pace. See if you can slow down the breath. Doing a little body scan here. Notice how your body's feeling this morning. Do you have a lot of energy? Are you feeling maybe a little lethargic? Are you feeling worn out? Are you feeling excited? Maybe a combination of some of those feelings? Just observe. Notice if any areas seem to be holding on to any tension. Notice your hips. Notice your shoulders. Notice your neck. And breathe. Notice that your mind is maybe going a little crazy. Maybe you're starting to think about what you're doing later, the things that you need to do. See if you could just focus on your inhales and your exhales. Sometimes it helps to actually say that. So in your thoughts or out loud, maybe you're gonna say inhale and you're gonna inhale. Exhale, exhale. Breathing here, creating some space. Noticing which parts of the body are touching the mat. 
See if you can get them a little bit heavier. Notice where your shoulders are. From here, let's do two breaths together. Inhale. Let it go through the mouth, exhale. Inhale. Let it go, exhale. Slightly open the eyes, blink them open. And from here, let's take the hands behind the head, tucking the chin to the chest, feeling this a little bit in the shoulders and the neck, starting to open the body up. From here, maybe turning to one side, bringing the right elbow forward, trying to keep the back straight. Maybe coming back to center, over to the other side. Back to center. From here, right arm's gonna come above the ear, left palm is either just gonna come beside or maybe under the seat bone. Trying to create some space here on the left side. Feeling a little stretch here in the neck. Notice if you feel the stretch anywhere else. All right, bring that hand down and switching sides. So left palm over the left or the over the right ear, bringing that left ear down to the left shoulder and creating mm -hmm. space on the right. Again, maybe the hand's going to just hang out here. Maybe it's gonna come under the seat bone. Just breathe. Coming back to center, we're gonna do a couple cat cows or whatever else you wanna do to kind of warm up. See where maybe you need to create a little bit more space. If you wanna work on your wrists, you can do that. So wrists, maybe you're going to bring the hands back. So try and bring the hips back a little bit. Maybe you're gonna just do cat and cow. So coming into your cow first. Exhaling into your cat. Maybe you're gonna do body rolls. Any bits of movement to kind of just start waking up the body. I'm gonna give you a couple counts here. So just go at your own pace, whatever it is that you're feeling this morning. See if you can go nice and slow. Just really feeling that movement. Paying attention to your body. All right, from here, what we're gonna do is put a little bit more weight in the palms. We're gonna kick the right leg out. From here, we're gonna bring it to the nose and back out, and down. Starting to wake up the core here, and let's do the same thing on the other side. Left leg comes back, bringing it to the nose, and back out. Bring that knee back down. Let's do it one more time each side. Right leg back, knee to nose, and back. Left leg back. Knee to nose. And back. 
and down. From here, coming into your first downward dog. Maybe starting with bent knees, seeing what that feels like. Maybe moving the legs from straight to bent, waking up those legs. Pressing firmly into the mat with the hand, pushing back. See if you can broaden the shoulders a little bit. Maybe pedaling the feet out. Maybe going side to side with the body. Maybe rolling the wrist or the ankles out. Maybe nodding the head. Yes and no. We're here for a couple more breaths. So just do any bits of movement that feel good for your first downward dog. Just waking up the body here. All right, stepping top of the mat. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, palms coming down. Awesome. Hey, Rogers Burton, welcome. And Fu, Tattooed Ronin, thanks for being here. Inhale, palms up. Little back bend. And exhale, folding over the legs. Maybe taking uh, your feet hip width. Maybe bring the mat width and just folding here. We're gonna hang out in this fold for a couple breaths. Again, just waking up the body, taking the time to wake up the body. Breathing here. And exhale. Grabbing the elbows, maybe bringing the hands or the palms behind you. Maybe grabbing the toes. Maybe hands are coming under the feet. So whatever variation feels good for you right now, take that. See if you can press the feet into the floor, all four corners of the feet, pressing into the mat and breathe. Getting nice and heavy in the upper body. And bringing those feet back to hip width if you made them wide. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, stepping or hopping all the way back. First flow, maybe bringing the knees to the mat for the first one. Chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or upward dog. And rolling over the toes, downward dog. Breathing here. Again, still early. If you want to move around in your downward dog, feel free to do that. Just breathe. See if you can find a little bit more space. Notice if there's any areas of tension that you can breathe into. Let's do that one more time. We're gonna go a little faster. Stepping or hopping, top of the mat. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, palms coming down. Hey, Daniela. Awesome, I'm so glad you dropped by. Glad you like the color combo and the music. Inhale, palms up. Little back bend here. And folding over the legs. Stay here just for a breath. Any forward fold that you like. Maybe bending the knees here to get a little bit more into the lower back and the hamstrings. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, stepping or hopping all the way back. Coming into your chaturanga, maybe bringing the knees down again. Elbows tight. Cobra or upward dog. And over the toes, downward dog. 
Again, hanging out here for a couple breaths, getting settled, pressing into the palms. See if you can broaden the back just a little bit and breathe. Maybe keeping the knees bent here if that feels better for your body. Maybe playing here and seeing if maybe you like having blocks underneath your hands in your downward dog. You can flow with blocks under your hands. So maybe notice what this feels like and if this is something that helps or you like in your practice. Just hanging out here. Breathe, connecting to your breath. Noticing if your mind is starting to go elsewhere. See if you can bring it back. Focus on the breath. All right, right leg lifts. Coming into three-legged dog. Belly to spine. See if you can have those hips facing the right side. Maybe looking just under the right arm. Holding here and stepping that foot top of the mat. Coming into our low lunge here. So dropping that knee, maybe bringing that blanket and tucking it under the knee, if that feels good. Bending into this leg here, arms up. You can definitely flow with yoga blocks. So it's awesome. Daniel, you were here. I'm glad you're here, Daniel. And yeah, Danielle, it's so nice with the yoga blocks. It just, uh, it really does help create more space. So it's a really good option to try out. So holding here, watching that the knee is stacked over the ankle. Just hanging out here, noticing what this feels like. Let's take our hands behind, if we can. Maybe grabbing the elbows here. Maybe just bringing the hands back to create a little bit more space here in the chest. Or maybe clasping the hands behind you to get a little shoulder stretch here. And maybe you're gonna try and go into a humble warrior, bringing the chest and upper body in and letting it hang out here. Now, if you wanna make it a little bit tougher, Maybe you're gonna pick up that back foot and see what that feels like. Breathing here. Keep breathing. Notice if your mind's starting to drift. Bring it back. From here, if your leg, if your knee's still on the ground, lifting it up, coming into warrior two. Breathing here. Notice your back foot here. It can be parallel, it can be 45 degrees. This is really up to you. See if you can go a little deeper in the front leg here. And just watch that back arm. Breathing here, core's tight. All right, flowing it out. Palms coming to the mat. Right leg lifts. Maybe you're gonna do a three-legged chaturanga. Maybe you're doing regular chatur chaturanga. Again, can always bring the knees down if that's helpful. Flowing it out. Rolling over the toes, downward dog. Breathing here. Noticing how that felt. Going a little slower. More control. Did you find that more challenging than when we go fast? Just observe. Breathing here. And always an option to keep those knees bent. Maybe bring those blocks under the hands.
just breathe. All right, left leg lifts. Knees bent, looking under the left arm. Breathing here. Hips are pointing towards the left. Using your strength here, using your core. And stepping, top of the mat, low lunge. Again, option to bring that blanket underneath. Arms are up, nice and active. Just watch that the knee is stacked over the ankle. Otherwise, everything else doesn't really matter. So you make this about you. Finding some areas that you need to stretch out a little bit. Breathing here. All right, we're gonna clasp behind. So again, maybe clasping, maybe just bring the hands behind. If you've got your belt or you've got your strap, you can also use that behind you to just grab. That way you're feeling a little bit more tension. So you find something that works for you. Just opening up through the chest. All right, from here, going into your humble warrior. So maybe just bringing the upper body down or maybe trying to create a little bit more by lifting that back leg. coming up into your warrior two on this side. Breathing here. Noticing how you feel in your warrior two. Do you feel strong? Just observe. And let's flow it out. Whatever flow means to you. If you're not in the flowing mood, maybe you're going to child's pose. If you're in the flowing mood, you got some energy, maybe you're gonna do your three-legged chaturanga. So you pick your flow, meeting back and downward dog. Pressing into the hands. Broadening through the back, belly to spine. Your variation. All right, stepping or hopping top of the mat. Inhale, palms, uh, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms all the way up. Palms coming down. All right, we're gonna go a little faster here, do a little flow, and then we're gonna take it back onto the mat. So inhale, palms up. Folding over the legs. Inhale, look up. Exhale, stepping or hopping all the way back. Chaturanga. Looking up, Cobra. 
over the toes, downward dog. Right leg lifts, knee to nose. And back. Knee to left elbow. And back. Now same, we're gonna bring the knee to the left elbow, this time bringing that foot out. Maybe you're hanging out here, this is where you stay. Maybe you're coming into fallen triangle, lifting that left arm back, hanging out here. Looking up if you can. Palms coming back to the mat. Right leg lifts. And right leg steps between the palms. Left legs coming into a 45. Warrior one. Hanging out here. See if you can press into that back foot just a little more. Bring those hips forward. Warrior two. And extended side angle. So maybe you're bringing this elbow on top of the knee or bringing it to the inside of the leg. Maybe using a block here. And left arms coming over. See if you can create a straight line here from the foot all the way to the fingertips, feeling the energy flow. See, feeling that line of energy. Opening up here through the chest, feeling that space. Coming back into your warrior two. Straightening that front leg. Coming down into Trikonasana, triangle pose. A little micro bend in the knee, maybe bring that block to help create a little bit more space here. Breathe here. See if you can imagine your back is on a wall, flat. And moving that block if you have it, let's flow it out. Right leg comes back, maybe your three-legged chaturanga. Over the toes. Pressing into the palms. Breathing here. Catching your breath. Hanging out here in downward dog or take a child's pose if you need. Let's be here for a couple breaths. in child's pose, coming back into downward dog. And you know, we gotta do the other side now. So, left leg lifts. Bring that knee to the nose, squeezing the core. Coming back, bringing the knee to the right arm, bringing it across. And back. And again, bringing it to the right arm, elbow, and bringing that leg through, coming into fallen triangle. Right arm lifts, breathing here. Again, can always keep the hand on the, on the ground. 
Can also just hang out here, bringing the knee across if that feels better. So holding here, a couple breaths. Calm your breath. Right palm comes down, left leg comes back, and bring that foot between the palms. Coming into your warrior one. Breathing here. See if you can press into that back foot. Hey, Aaron. I, is Jess here too? I didn't see a comment from Jess. All right, hanging out here and coming into your warrior two. See if you can go a little deeper in the front here, watching that back arm, just breathe. Calming the breath down. Noticing how you feel in your warrior two. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Erin. I was wondering if it was Jess Kaplan that was on or my friend Jesse also joined. So lots of Jesses around here. All right, from here, we're gonna go into our extended side angle. So maybe grabbing that block or maybe just resting that elbow on the knee or hands coming to the block and you can use whatever level you want. So from here, right arms coming over the head, nice straight line, fingers together, feeling that nice line of energy, just breathing, opening up here through the chest. Coming back to warrior two. And coming into our trikonasana, our triangle pose on this side. So straightening that front leg, coming down, again, maybe using that block, imagining a wall right behind you, flat back, holding here. And moving that block, let's flow it out. So whatever your flow looks like today, do that. It's your body, just remember to breathe. Meeting back in downward dog. Hanging out here for a couple breaths. All right, stepping or hopping, top of the mat. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, fold. Palms coming all the way up to standing. Coming to your Tadasana, your, your mountain pose. So just breathing here. Do a balancing posture, then we'll bring it onto the mat. So just breathing here. Noticing what you feel like here in Tadasana. Notice if your feet are planted, four corners of the feet. Activating your glutes, activating your legs. Just noticing what it feels like to stand here. All right. From here, we're gonna go into our dancer's pose. If there's another balancing posture that you would rather do instead, maybe tree pose or uh, hand to foot, knee to, uh, knee, hand to knee, you can feel free to do that as well. But we're gonna, I'm gonna uh, teach dancer's pose. So what we're gonna do is start on the left side to bring that left leg back, maybe grabbing with the inside, maybe grabbing outside. It doesn't matter, so just see what feels good for your body. 
Maybe you're staying here, just trying to hold your balance, or maybe you're gonna go a little bit farther. So pressing that foot into the palm to create more space, to create resistance. Bring that right arm up. Maybe this is where you're staying. See if you can activate the core here. Don't go too much in the lower back. And pressing slowly, maybe bring that leg higher, bring that arm forward. Feeling that balance here. Breathing here. And from here, stepping back into your warrior two. Breathing here. Reverse. And let's flow it out. Maybe a three-legged chaturanga here if you want a little bit more, or maybe coming to your knees, whatever you need. and breathe. All right, so we know it's coming on the other side now. So stepping or hopping, top of the mat. Inhale, flat back, look up, and fold. Coming all the way up, maybe a little back bend here, and coming into mountain pose, Tadasana. Breathing here. Noticing what this feels like. All right. So dancers pose on the other side now. So let's test our balance. So grounding into the left foot this time. Right foot's coming up. So you can either take, whoops, take the outside of the leg or the inside. Now these balancing postures can be really tough. So if you're falling out of it, just laugh and just meet back. So pressing that foot into the hand, maybe starting here. And if you wanna go a little farther, pressing back into that foot, creating a little bit of a back bend here, core is tight. Left arm's coming up. So it's a bit of a balance here. You've got your front arm forward to resist the balancing act of your foot behind you. So holding here, breathing, focusing on one spot. And from here, going into your warrior two. So with control or without. <laughs> Whatever happens, just deal with it and laugh. Coming into our warrior two on this side. And reverse. Feeling that stretch. We're gonna flow it out. This is gonna be our last flow. Hands coming down. Make whatever flow you want for your last one. Maybe a three-legged chaturanga, you choose. Maybe knees coming down. Meet in downward dog. So just breathing here. And meeting in child's pose. Just letting it go, breathing here. Maybe bring the elbows down, calming the breath.
All right, coming back to tabletop. This time what we're gonna do is bring the left knee sort of to center, right arms, uh, right arm, right leg is coming out to straight and bringing the left arm sort of beside. So it's gonna look like this. Just bring that arm out, feeling a little stretch here. Slowing down the breath, feeling that opening. Coming back to center. We're gonna come down into a little chaturanga, coming into cobra. And then back into child's pose. Breathing here. Getting a little settled. And we're gonna do the same thing now on the other side. So coming back in the tabletop, this time left leg's coming out to straight, right arm's coming out to the side, and stretching over. Just breathing here, seeing what this feels like in your body, feeling that stretch. And coming back to center, coming to your tabletop. Little chaturanga here. Cobra. And back to child's pose. If you want this one to be a little bit different, maybe you'll come into puppy pose instead. Just bring the palms out, bring the chest all the way down. Whatever you choose, couple breaths here.
to be able to hear you. All right, guys, sorry about that. The mic died. <laughs> so hopefully you guys got the pointing cues. So we're on the other side now for pigeon. And so what I was trying to say, so I'm going to give you the same variations that I was trying to point to. So with here, again, don't worry about your knee. I mean, <laughs> worry about your knee. Only worry about your knee. So it doesn't matter where your foot is, as long as your knee feels good. So maybe the foot's gonna be closer to the body, maybe not. If you took figure four stretch on one side, consider taking it again on the other side. And from here, you may have a space here on your hip. You can grab your blanket and tuck that under the hip. You can also take the block and place it under as well. You can also here use the blocks instead to help with your hand placement. So maybe you're gonna kind of stay upwards, try and get the pelvic down towards the floor. You want your hips to try and stay level here. So you can use the blocks any level that works for you, or maybe you're going to fold over the leg. You can use your hand behind you to just see if your hips feel level, and if they don't, Maybe just use your hand to help try and get you level. So just breathe in here. Slowing down the breath. Now, if the first slide didn't go so well because of our mic issues, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a count after this, an extra count, so that you can feel free to do that on the other side. Or if you were fine, then it's Yogi's choice. So you decide what you wanna do. So hanging out here, this can be a pretty intense stretch. So coming out early, if you need to, just breathe. All right, coming back into your downward dog, bring that leg back, maybe pedaling out the legs here, the knees. Just breathing. You can do any bits of movement here that feel good to shake the legs out. And again, if you had issues on the first side because of that, then feel free to take pigeon on the first side again, um, using some of those cues, anything that you like. If you felt like you did pretty good in your pigeon or your figure four and you're ready for something else, then it's going to be Yogi's choice. So do whatever it is that feels good. Maybe another forward fold. Maybe if you really want to get into the core, maybe you're going to do a boat pose, uh, even though that is a little bit, you know, it's a little bit uh, active for where we're kind of at in the practice, but feel free to make this about you. So you give your body anything extra that you need. Maybe if you want to practice shoulder stand, feel free. It's a good time to do that now as well. Um, you can also hang out in dead bug, just holding the uh, arms and legs up. So I want you to just listen to whatever your body needs right now. We'll give it a little bit more time. I'll give it about two minutes or so. And then we'll come onto our backs and slowly finish off the practice coming into our Shavasana. Nah, Dave's not getting fired. Dave's had a really bad week, so let's give him a break. <laughs> it's okay, Dave. Yeah, everybody gives Dave some love because he's feeling pretty bad right now. So just give him some love because he does such a great job all the time. And, uh, you know, it's fine. This was a complete fail. <laughs> It's fine. So just breathing here. Just enjoying whatever you're choosing. Awesome. Rogers Burton, I'm so glad you joined. So thanks for, for being here. See you next time. 
So we're still hanging out here. We're still gonna close out the practice. So feel free to stick around. Otherwise, you know, right now it's just Yogi's choice. So you decide what poses are gonna feel good for you right now, or you're working on your pigeon on the first side. So just enjoy this space, enjoy this time to really listen to your body. And maybe you're just sitting here in silence, right? That's totally fine as well. Thanks, Mama. <laughs> Always showing us our, your love and support. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Now, Dave's never getting fired, so. All right. So from here, hopefully you were able to get the pigeon on the other side. And if not, uh, well, you know, now we're gonna move on. So hopefully you did your pigeons. I know they suck, but they feel, they're so good for your hips. Or if you did your figure fours, honestly, they're just as good. So it's all good. So from here, what I want you to do is come onto your back. We're gonna do a round of bridge. And what I wanna offer to you is maybe you're going to take this a little bit more restorative. So what you're gonna do is just take the block underneath the sacrum here. And this is actually gonna be where you stay. You can also level it up and go to the level two side of your block if you need a little bit more. If you wanna get really crazy, you can even go to level three, but really just listen to your body here to see what you need. And, <laughs> and just breathe. So if you don't wanna use the block variation or maybe you didn't bring a book or something like that, Totally fine, you can just come up into a bit more of an active bridge, just using the glutes here and just hanging out here. So we're gonna just hold it here for a couple breaths, slowing down the breath. If you have the block or a book or something like that under you, just let the body relax here. Just notice where you can create a little bit more space. See if you can let go a little bit deeper into the pose. your butt back down to the mat. Maybe doing some windshield wipers here, just bringing the knees back and forth. Just letting go of that back a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do a little stretch here for our uh, feet, our toes. What we're gonna do is just bring the feet all the way up taking your strap, taking your towel, whatever you have. If you don't have one, I'll walk you through another variation as well. But what we're gonna do is just taking the strap here and I want you to work on bringing the toes, pointing them towards the body, using your arms here to just push into the calves a little bit. If you don't have one, then you're just gonna do this like this. You're going to uh, just try and push the toes down, creating that little bit of resistance here. Toes point and come back to the body and let it go. Just hugging the knees into the body here and breathe.
from here, let's just go into a last twist. We're gonna do a twist on each side. So just bringing the knees over to the right. Option to take any other twist that you like. Left arm's coming out, right palm is coming onto the knees. Create a little bit more resistance. You can always grab that blanket and use it to tuck it behind or under the shoulder here to help reduce that space between the mat and your shoulder. So just breathing here, slowing everything down. Slowly coming back up, and let's twist to the other side. Just breathing here. Seeing if you can release a little bit more into this pose. And finally coming back to center, hugging in those knees. And coming into your final pose, Shavasana. Just breathing here. Palms towards the ceiling means you need some energy. Palms towards the floor means you need a little bit more grounding. So just breathing here. Enjoying this space for you. Can you play the last song again? Hmm? Can you play the last song again? Play the last song? Mm -hmm. So just continuing to breathe. Oh, that's okay that you're late. Thanks for joining. Just breathing here. Taking this last little bit. Shaking off that practice. Just breathing. Making this space for you. Again, noticing where your mind's at. Maybe you need to bring it back to the breath. No judgment. Notice if you're carrying tension somewhere in your body and let it go. to read the quote of the week for you guys. So this one was another one I found on Pinterest, but I really liked it. It's called, This Letter Is To You. It's from, uh, I don't know, this is from Mind Mindset of Greatness. The you that's had a rough week. The you that seems to be under constant storm clouds. The you that feels invisible. The you that doesn't know how much longer you can hold on. The you that has lost faith. The you that always blames yourself for everything that goes wrong. To you. You are incredible. 
You make this world a little more wonderful. You have so much potential and so many things left to do. You have time. Better things are coming your way, so please hang in there. You can do it. You are supported. You are loved. You are enough. Breathing here. Noticing what that felt like. If it rose any emotions, let it. If it meant nothing, let it go. Breathing here. Just taking a last few breaths here. And when you're ready, slowly open the eyes, blinking them open. Maybe wiggling those toes, wiggling those fingers. Coming into a long body stretch. Maybe moving my head back and forth. Rolling onto any side that, oops, that feels good. And coming up back to center. Let's take three breaths together to close out the practice. Inhale, let it go, exhale, two more like that, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, inhale, and exhale. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank yourself so much for being here and creating this space for you. I hope you have the most amazing day still and namaste. All right, that is it. So <laughs> some technical, you know, difficulties during that class. So we apologize, the mic died. Um, so I think we forgot to charge it this week, which is fine. <laughs> happens to the best of us, right? Oops. So, um, I think that that's a really good example of how sometimes things don't go exactly as planned. And sometimes you have to just become adaptable and just roll with the punches. So I hope that that, you know, didn't impact your class too much. I hope you were able to, you know, roll with the punches too. And just notice, right? So like, how did you feel when that was happening? Were you getting frustrated? Were you, you know, were you patient? So, you know, as we kind of go through some of these emotions on the mat, it can carry forward into the way we handle other things in life. So, you know, these things happen, life happens. And so we just have to remain calm, breathe, and just get adaptable. So, um, I hope that you will all join me in giving Dave some love because he's feeling really awful right now. And I think he does an amazing job all the time. And we all, this, this happens, right? So let's give him some love. Tell him that he is awesome because he is always working so hard to give you guys the highest possible um, quality live streams for you guys. And so I want to show him some love because he really deserves it. Um, so thanks, Dave, for everything that you do. And I hope you guys enjoyed that class. I hope you're able to find a little bit more space in your body, in your mind. I hope you were able to leave feeling a nice zen feeling. I hope you enjoyed the music. So <laughs> you guys let me know what you guys thought about that class. And Dave, you're the best. 
So you deserve it. You're amazing. Amanda, I'm so glad that you're here. Glad that that was a great start to the weekend. Thanks so much for joining. It's so fun to see you on here. Um, so as always, let me know if you guys have any requests for next week, any music choices. Otherwise, we're just going with my vibes and what I'm hearing from you guys. Yeah, exactly. Dave, you're amazing. You're the man behind it all. He really is. So, you know, he does not get enough thanks for everything that he does. He works so hard for Move with Jen to give you guys the most amazing content. So, yes. All right. So, as always, we'll kind of chill out here for a couple minutes. So, if there are is any feedback or anything like that, then always feel free to post it in the comments. I'm glad that you're feeling great and relaxed now. That's good. That's exactly what I was going for. Um, so, and so, uh, you know, make sure you guys check out uh, Adrian and Nico. If you guys are looking to get your energy pumped up just a little bit more, then um, <laughs> yeah, if you guys are, uh, then make sure you guys check out Adrian and Nico. They are awesome. Dave, I'm glad that you got so into the music because that means that I did my job well, that I picked a good <laughs> playlist of some calming, relaxing music. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I hope that that kind of helped set the tone for everything. And hopefully it helped yeah. you stay nice and calm during our audio issues. You and I zend out. <laughs> good. That's good. <laughs> So that's the vibe that we want to create. And for those of you, we are going to be doing our Get Fit With Hit. We will make sure that we charge up those mics so we can get nice and pumped up for tomorrow. I got another killer playlist. I'm still finalizing what we're going to do. So if you do have any exercises that you want to make sure are in there or any target areas, then please let me know. Um, tomorrow, 10 a.m. And mom, I love you too. So thanks for being here, mom. Thanks for supporting and thanks for giving Dave some love when he needed it. All right, cool. So we'll probably end it here. I hope you guys had an amazing time. I also hope that you guys are getting a little bit more comfortable with using props. I am going to continue cheese. Oh my God, not cheesing. I'm going to continue. Oh my gosh. I'm going to continue teaching, that's what I'm trying to say, teaching with props, because I really do think it's the best way to discover your practice. Um, you know, it doesn't matter if you have real blocks like I do, or you're using toilet paper rolls, you know, just find your space, find what's going to work for you. Um, you don't need a lot to create that extra space, but I'm telling you, it makes a very big difference. So just try it out. We'll keep teaching like that, and I will see you guys next week or tomorrow. So thanks, everyone, for being here. Have an amazing Saturday, and uh, till next time. Namaste, everyone. Be well. Bye, everyone. Good? Yeah. Cool.